Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric respiratory medicine and allergy at Children's Chest Clinic, New Delhi. So in this video, we will talk about a common condition which is known as laryngotracheobronchitis or croup. So croup is basically an infection of the airways inside the lungs. This usually involves our voice box or larynx, the windpipe or the trachea and the lower airways also known as bronchi. Croup is usually caused by a virus which is known as a parainfluenza virus but occasionally croup can be caused by bacteria and occasionally caused by non-infectious problems such as gastroesophageal reflux disease. What are the symptoms of, of croup in children? Croup usually starts with a cough and cold and there can be fever associated. Now just after these symptoms, the child develops hoarseness of voice and sometimes develops noisy breathing from the airway which is known as strider. Strider is a, is a harsh sound something like this. <gasps> Occasionally, children can have involvement of the lower airways or the bronchi which can produce a whistling sort of a sound known as a wheeze, something like this. The cough is classically described as a barky cough. Now, some children tend to have mild symptoms, but occasionally children can have a lot of difficulty in breathing and croups tend to get severe requiring hospital admission. So how is croup treated? Well, croup, uh, if it is mild, can be treated at home. But in children, as I said, if the breathing difficulty is significant, if they have very high fever, they have, diff they have a lot of sounds from the airway, if they're not maintaining their oxygen saturation, they might need to be in the hospital. Maintenance of hydration is quite important, which can be done either orally or occasionally in the form of IV fluids. Children tend to be uh, made calm. They should not be agitated. They should be relaxed. Paracetamol should be used for reducing the amount of fever. Now, children with croup require two medicines to be made stable and proof. Steroids is the mainstay of treatment for, for children with croup. This can be either given in the form of a nebulization, an oral tablet or syrup, or sometimes in the form of injection. The commonest used steroids are either hydrocortisone or dexamethasone. Children with croup also improve with a, a medicine which is known as epinephrine or adrenaline, and this is usually given in the form of a nebulizer. So if your child is having any symptom of laryngotracheobronchitis or croup, do get in touch with your doctor for a proper diagnosis and treatment. Thank you.